Hi guys, Morris here with another video. So many expats are attracted to Switzerland due to the promise of high salaries, relatively low taxes, as well as the breathtaking nature and overall high standard of living. However, living in Switzerland does not come cheap with many Swiss cities ranking near the top of uh, global expat cost of living rankings. So that begs the question, how much do you really need to live comfortably in Switzerland? In this video, I'll tell you about what you can expect to pay for things like accommodation, groceries, transportation, healthcare, and entertainment. Obviously, cost of living varies widely depending on your own living situation. Some people might gravitate towards more frugal lifestyles, uh, while others prefer to spend more money on things like luxury goods or experiences. Similarly, a person's family situation will play a large role in how much money they will spend in a month, with families usually needing to spend uh, more per month than people living on their own. So in this video, we'll look at the uh, true cost of living in Switzerland by breaking down major living expenses in the biggest cities across the country. So the video will be broken down into nine sections and I've included timestamps for each uh, section in the description below. So these topics include things like salary in Switzerland, housing and accommodation costs, utilities like heating, electricity, water and the internet, groceries and other food uh, expenses, entertainment and recreation activities, healthcare costs, child and family related costs, uh, and transportation costs, which will all be added together to estimate your potential total cost of living in Switzerland. For a more detailed breakdown of the information covered in this video, you can check out my blog post on the topic by visiting uh, expatwell.com slash Switzerland. I'll make sure to put a link in the description below. So let's just jump right into it. In order to put the living expense that I will discuss in this video into perspective, you have to have a bit of an understanding of what people in Switzerland earn as the high cost of living goes hand in hand with the high salaries offered in Switzerland. Looking at some of the most common jobs in Switzerland, you'll see that they are uh, considerably higher than what people earn for doing similar jobs compared to the rest of the world. For example, the average expat package given to employees relocating to Switzerland is more than 200,000 US dollars per year when you factor expat benefits like housing and education allowances. According to HSBC's uh, Expat Explorer survey, the average expat salary in Switzerland was just over 110,000 US dollars per year, which is 33% higher than the global average for expat salaries, which currently stands at around 75,000 US dollars per year. On a positive note, 71% of expats participating in the survey said that they had more disposable income after relocating to Switzerland than they did in their home countries. I made a more detailed video on salaries in Switzerland, which I will link to up here. So now that we've covered salaries, let's look at what you can expect to pay uh, to rent an apartment in some of the big cities uh, in Switzerland like Zurich, Geneva, Basel, or Bern. So depending on where you live and what type of housing you choose, you can expect to spend between 25-40% to 40 of your take-home salary on rent or mortgage payments when living in Switzerland. Uh, and housing uh, costs will also vary a little bit uh, depending on uh, where you choose to live. For example, rent in Zurich is typically around 3% lower than rent in Geneva. But overall, I've been quite surprised with how similar the prices are in main cities. So I'd say that on average, a one-bedroom apartment in a relatively uh, central location in the main cities in Switzerland will set you back between 1,200 and 1,800 Swiss francs, uh, with Basel and Bern being on the cheaper end, while Zurich and Geneva will normally put you towards the higher end of the scale. Obviously, you can save some money uh, by living further out from the city center or living in one of the more or less desirable areas of the city. When looking for a uh, bigger accommodation, more geared towards families, you can expect to pay between 2,200 and 3,000 Swiss francs uh, per month for a three-bedroom apartment. Again, cities like Basel will be at the low end of the scale, while Zurich and Geneva will typically be closer to the 3,000 Swiss franc per month mark. So one of the ways of uh, saving money on living expenses, uh, like rent, is by living across the border in uh, neighboring France or Germany and commuting to work. While the housing prices on the border are considered to be high for countries like France and Germany, they are usually still quite a bit uh, cheaper than what you would expect to pay if you live in Switzerland itself. Uh, commuting times will vary, but in the case of Basel, it is possible to live in France while uh, limiting your commute to about half an hour. In fact, uh, my brother-in-law who works in Switzerland and lives in France actually commutes to work by bicycle. Again, everyone's monthly budget for entertainment and recreational activities is going to vary a lot depending on what kind of hobbies and activities you like doing. For example, going out uh, for a drink at your local pub uh, is going to be a lot cheaper than bottle service at a trendy nightclub. So even though none of these activities have been possible for more than a year due to COVID, let's assume that things will eventually return to normal and look at what you can expect to pay for doing things like going to a restaurant, bar, or nightclub. Uh, starting off with one of the more cheaper options, a meal at a fast food restaurant like McDonald's will uh, set you back around 13 Swiss francs 
That's around 65% more than what you would expect to pay for a similar meal at McDonald's in the United States. Uh, stepping up a level, uh, eating a three-course meal at a casual bistro-type restaurant with waiters, you can expect to pay around 60, 60 Swiss francs uh, per person. At a more fancy restaurant, you'll likely spend about 100 Swiss francs per person for a three-course meal. Uh, so what about alcohol? So this will depend on your own drinking habits, but a beer at a local pub will cost about 6 Swiss francs, and a glass of wine will normally run you about 7 Swiss francs per glass. Something more fancy like a cocktail will normally set you back uh, around 20 Swiss francs per drink. Coffee lovers like me will uh, typically spend about 450 uh, Swiss francs per uh, coffee. Looking at a typical leisure activities, uh, a ticket to a, a new release at your local cinema will typically cost around 19 Swiss francs, while a concert ticket for a well-known international recording artist uh, will normally cost around 100 Swiss francs. For those of you who like to work out, a gym membership will typically cost around 85 Swiss francs per month. Uh, Switzerland is great for skiers and snowboarders, so those wishing to hit the slopes will typically need to pay between uh, 35 to 60 Swiss francs uh, per day for a ski lift pass. Uh, one of the great things about Switzerland is that no matter where you live, you are pretty much surrounded by pristine nature. So if you are into spending time in nature, you can actually have a lot of fun without breaking the bank. So groceries. So depending on your eating habits, uh, you can expect to pay between 75 to 120 Swiss francs per week uh, per person on groceries. Uh, this means that a single person would spend about 300 to 480 Swiss francs per month, while a family of four would expect to pay between 900 to 1300 Swiss francs per month uh, on groceries. Some of the groceries that are particularly expensive in Switzerland uh, are any kind of meat products. Uh, for example, uh, half a kilo uh, of chicken breast will cost about 19 Swiss francs. One of the ways to save money on groceries, particularly on things like meat, is by driving across the border and buying your groceries in either France or Germany. Healthcare is another area where Switzerland can be quite expensive. Uh, I think most people will think that uh, healthcare costs are quite high, except for maybe Americans who might actually find their healthcare costs going down after moving to Switzerland. So the average annual healthcare cost for Swiss residents is about 2,800 Swiss francs per year. However, the majority of medical expenses will be covered by the mandatory private insurance plans that Swiss residents are required to have. Uh, these mandatory insurance plans will normally have an annual deductible between 300 to 2,200 Swiss francs uh, and require patients to pay 10 to 20% of the costs of their total medical treatment, which is capped at around 700 Swiss francs per adult and 320 Swiss francs per child. As with most systems, the higher the deductible, the lower the monthly premium, with high deductible plans costing up to 50%, um, less than plans with a low deductible. So for example, an adult over the age of 25 can expect to pay around 400 Swiss francs per month for their health insurance premium. In terms of your out-of-pocket expenses, if you visit your GP, it'll cost you around 130 to 150 Swiss francs, which will put you out of pocket between 13 to 15 Swiss francs uh, once you've reached your deductible. Every parent knows that children can cost quite a bit of money, uh, this is particularly the case uh, for expats who often have to send their children to expensive international schools. Uh, most international schools in cities like Geneva or, or Zurich will cost between 12,000 to 35,000 uh, Swiss francs per year per child. Uh, daycare is another uh, significant expense for parents living in Switzerland with daycare on average costing two-thirds of the country's uh, monthly average wage. In practice, that means that parents can expect to pay around 130 Swiss francs per day or 2,600 Swiss francs per month for daycare for their child. However, these costs can be brought down through various tax breaks. So the last uh, monthly expense category I'm going to cover in this video is transportation. If you live in the city center of cities like Geneva or Zurich, you can uh, generally get around using the well-established public transportation systems. A one-way transportation ticket in Zurich would set you back four and a half Swiss francs, while a ticket in Geneva is a bit cheaper at three Swiss francs. Similarly, uh, a monthly transportation pass in Zurich would cost 85 Swiss francs uh, per month, while a monthly pass in Geneva would uh, cost uh, 70 Swiss francs. Taxis in uh, Switzerland are also pretty expensive, with rides starting at about 7 Swiss francs and costing an additional 4.5 Swiss francs per kilometer. This means that you can expect to pay around 110 Swiss francs for a 20-minute ride. Uh, when it comes to car ownership, I think the prices in Switzerland are quite similar to uh, other countries in Western Europe. Uh, I've put an overview of uh, the average prices of some of the most popular new and used cars on the screen uh, to give you a better idea of what it costs to buy a car in Switzerland. So to summarize, your cost of living will vary mostly based on your own personal preferences and family status rather than the uh, specific location in Switzerland which you have chosen to live. So I think it's really important to try to calculate what you would expect to spend uh, to live the type of lifestyle you want uh, before accepting a job in Switzerland. 
Uh, I have myself rejected uh, job opportunities in Switzerland, which initially appeared to offer an attractive package, but after further examination turned out to be uh, less financially interesting uh, than I would have initially thought. Uh, based on my uh, estimations, a single person would need about uh, three and a half thousand Swiss francs, while a family of four would need about nine thousand Swiss francs per month to cover things like rent, food, entertainment, healthcare, and transportation. Uh, to put those numbers in perspective, I've calculated what these salaries would equal to in terms of money and lifestyle in some of the more well-known cities around the world. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would appreciate if you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help this channel. If you're interested in more cost of living videos or videos about living in Switzerland, uh, subscribe to this channel. So that's all for now. I hope to see you in the next video.